Good morning there friends and neighbors, Bobby here today. Hey folks, it's November 7th. We stayed out here last night till probably about 9 o'clock uh, getting this wall cleared on out. Um, we moved the toolboxes. We had some shelves up here that uh, <clears throat> were attached to the wall pretty good. The guy that put them up, he had them screwed into every stud. Got all them taken down. Uh, moved some of the stuff that was in the corner out of here. Done a little bit of cleaning up. Now today, I've been contemplating exactly what I'm going to do with the wiring. Um, yesterday I told you that I was going to actually move all of the receptacles um, up the wall a little bit, but I've actually decided that I don't think I really need to do that, except in the area that I'm going to put my toolbox, which is about right over here. <clears throat> my toolbox uh, sits up probably about four, four feet, maybe 48, 48 to 50 inches off the ground. So what I'm going to do between this receptacle, oh, and let me mention, uh, I found that after I moved all this stuff off the wall, I did have plenty of outlets in here. I mean, I've got an outlet about every four or five feet, so not really going to add a whole lot of new outlets. But what I am going to do between this outlet and that outlet over there, that's about where my toolbox is going to sit. So what I'm going to do is that piece of wire that goes in between there, I'm going to remove that piece of wire. And then I'm going to come up here on the uh, wall, probably up another six to eight inches, and I'm going to install this uh, triple gang box here, okay? Now, and that'll be right over top of my toolbox, and I'll put two outlets in this box and one light switch. And the light switch, I'll actually run the wire up through the top. i got to drill through the double top plate and i'm gonna bring a wire over here and probably just put it in a little gang box for the time being until i get a chance to run my lighting like i want to so we'll we'll already have a wire run up there to run some new lighting in this area and that will be basically done just like i've done this one here in the past this is the last receptacle on this wall right here and uh, what i did about a year or so ago is i ran it up to a switch ran it up through the attic right across here and i've got it operating this ceiling fan this ceiling fan and my center light that's in the center of the garage okay so all of that is run off of the back wall circuit now over here this is my right wall circuit i've actually got four different circuits in this garage and one of them i haven't quite figured out if there's anything going to it yet or not i may find that out when i get everything moved off the left off the left wall but over here, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come up here, you know, to about this height, put in a little box, put a light switch in it. We're going to run up through the top plate. We'll come over here on one of the uh, trusses here. We'll run the wire to it, put it inside a box for now until I figure out where I want to run my lights. I do know that this light right here, I will hook to this switch because this light is hooked to and they've kind of got it done kind of shady I don't like the way they've done it they've got it attached to this light over here <clears throat> that no longer works and they've got it run just with some stranded wire kind of just looped around here it's going around some nails over there on top of the wall right up here I noticed that there's no grommet of any kind that wire there could actually short very easily so I'm going to disconnect all of this wiring here and probably if I keep this light I'll run it off of my new switch over here and uh, so this is what I'm going to be working on today another thing uh, I do have a 220 outlet right here on a 30 amp breaker but I don't really have a use for that type of plug but I do have a use for a, a 50 amp style plug like what would be like on a stove and uh, and I do have an old oven in here that I'm going to mount in this area somewhere to use to bake uh, items that I powder coat. And I also have an old arc welder, and I'll probably have it somewhere, you know, up on a bench or something in this area too. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to change out this box here and go ahead and have it uh, install a new a new box with a, with a 50 amp style plug on it. So that'll be one more thing that I do electrical before I come down this wall here. 
And uh, folks, that's about what we're doing today. Oh, another thing that I saw I don't like, uh, this light switch here that uh, operates this ceiling fan here that I installed. Um, I didn't install this box, but it's a metal box. I don't really like that. I'd rather it be a fiber box. So we're gonna put a, put a fiber box in there and it looks like someone cut some wiring out of it before. It just looks a little unsafe. So I'm gonna take that whole box out get that wiring disconnected right there put it all in a new box and probably put a new switch in it too i've got a whole box of, i got a brand new box of switches and a brand new box of outlets so i'll probably go ahead and get that fixed up too and uh folks that's what we're going to be working on here today and uh, like i told you yesterday i'll probably make a simple little video on doing some basic wiring maybe like wiring up a uh, an outlet or a switch or something kind of show you how to do that today so we're going to get busy we're going to take another load of stuff up to the uh, storage bin and then we're going to work on this all day and we'll uh, have you some more videos real soon so uh, thanks for watching the video today folks don't forget to subscribe tell a friend about us and we'll see you next time